Hi there, I'm Robert Renman. Today I want to give you a little tour of my collection of VPix. I'm sure you've heard of VPix, unless you've been living under a big rock or something. But the fact is I've been using VPix for a few years and uh, I've ended up with a collection as a result. Now, today I'm going to try and give you a demo of some of these picks, but keep in mind it's really hard to hear details between picks in an audio recording. To me, the pick is it's very important, but it's, it has to do with how it feels to play with. You know, different picks, they feel different and it makes you play differently as a result, at least to some extent. So certain picks I like better than others and it usually has to do with the material, which affects the tone to some degree for sure, but also the size, the thickness, and just how it feels to hold. So uh, uh, the gear I'm using is I have a Hagstrom Viking here and I, I'm using a Sur Badger 18 tube amp uh, into a 212 cabinet that has greenback speakers. I'm also using uh, an overdrive that's called Stout Drive from koamps.com and uh, well this is what it sounds like without any pick. <laughs> So let's have a look at a few of these picks. Uh, this one is a glow in the dark pick, actually, which is really handy for stage. And it's fairly thick. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Medium rounded. It looks like the medium rounded, anyway. I've been using this one a lot. <laughs> And I like the shape of it. It's a little bit more rounded and it seems to suit my style of playing. So I dig that one for sure. Now, these uh, red one, pink ones here, they are pretty much the same, but slightly thinner, I think. This one, pink one is slightly thinner, but it, it's very similar. And these colored ones, to me, sound a little bit different than the clear ones. I'm not sure why, but... rounded tone I guess you could say now this one is bizarre the colossal it's super thick and it has that uh, transparent material which VPix are known for I think this one is more of a practice pick <laughs> Vinny says it's a good one to use for uh, working on your alternate picking technique and I think there's some truth to that. It has a bit of a pingy tone to it. And because it's so large, a lot of mass in this one. So that one I use only for practice, not for uh, any real gigging or recording. Now the other ones that I really like are these dark red ones, they almost look brown. They are really nice. They have a slightly different tone, I think. At least it feels different to play with them. That was the Jalapeno, that's a great one, and the Red Rocker, I like that one too. It's similar, this one is maybe slightly thinner. That's a nice one. These blue ones, 
This is a big one, Saga. Probably slightly large for my taste, but uh, some people like bigger picks, and this one has a nice tone to it. That blue material is cool. It's easier to pick fast with the larger pick for some reason. But, um, as you know, speed isn't everything. I'm, I'm always trying to find a good tone that's generated by the pick and your fingers. The blue material is nice. The light tradition and the switchblade, they're very similar. The switchblade is pointier. Switchblade with a really pointy edge, or a tip. too pointed for my own personal preference the uh, this is the euro 2 it says on it similar to the light tradition it has that clear material material that that's uh, I think how he started with this type of material when he made his picks It's a bit thinner, and I really like it. It doesn't bend, as far as I can tell, but it's a little thinner. And um, it feels great with these holes in it. And that's the same with that uh, jalapeno. The holes in it makes it a little easier to hold. But uh, if I had to pick a, a favorite, well, actually, let's check out these. The 1980 and uh, the Mummy, they have a different edge. They have that... Uh, Buffed, I think it's called buffed edge. It's it's very way different. I definitely think it's possible to hear the difference with these ones. Makes it a little bit more noise or sound when you hit, especially these uh, the top three strings, the, the wound strings. That was a jalapeno. Here's the mummy. And that can be cool in certain instances when you want to have a the type of sound the pick generates. So um, the gypsy is the round one. I don't usually use round picks, but I've been experimenting with this one and I think it's it's quite interesting. <laughs> pick 
you know, glides over the strings differently than one that's pointing. <laughs> That one is quite interesting. I'm not sure what I think about it yet. I do like it though. Uh, the, uh, this one is just probably the thinnest one I have. The tradition, VPIC, the VPIC tradition ultra light. This one does bend a bit. Probably would work really well on acoustic. tone for sure all right so if i pick a favorite well it's hard i think it would be the red rocker maybe that this this red dark red material i like the tone from it and i like the feel of this one uh it's hard to, as i said to, to to really hear the difference in tone sometimes on audio recording but I find when you hit the string, this one has, to me, a pleasing tone. But um, again, they're all cool and they're all worth exploring for sure. The um, the red and blue, I like more than the the transparent ones usually. If I'm going for a, a smooth round tone for blues and so on, and these ones they're buffed and the ones are pointy and transparent, they're great for a more edgy tone. So anyway, I hope that uh, was of some interest to you. Uh, I would highly recommend you check out VPix uh, assortment of picks, and uh, I have to say that Vinny and Nancy are awesome people to to talk to and deal with. So, if you go and uh, uh, check out their website, you'll be in good hands for sure. So, uh, thanks for now, and I will see you soon again. <laughs>